Hi, I'm Vicky from the Apprenticeship Hub podcast and I'm here talking to Debbie, who's an advisor for the Apprenticeship Hub. Hello, Debbie. Hi, Vicky. Hello. So we're here to talk today about what the Apprenticeship Hub is then, effectively. So do you want to just start with exactly what it is? Certainly, certainly. So we're basically an ESF funded project. So ESF, the Busy European Social Fund. Yeah. Um, we're set up specifically to cover a set region, which is York, North Yorkshire and East Riding. Okay. So all those funds must stay within that area. And we're there to support SMEs, or small, medium businesses, yeah. um, mainly to increase the uptake of apprenticeships and also to help those SMEs capacity build. Right, okay. So as, a, as an advisor, I give any support required by that provide or any advice and guidance required by that small business yeah. around apprenticeships. So it could be anything as small as a phone call, just to give them a pointer in one direction, or it could be to go to visit them at the site and take them through the full apprenticeship route, give them guidance around apprenticeship standards, yeah. where the starting point is, um, any funding or incentives they can access, support accessing different recruitment, pots okay. or given guidance and signpost them to different ways of recruiting so it's very varied okay so it's just basically anything a business needs to get themselves started down that yeah. route okay. yeah so as well as that we do what was called capacity building so we can provide training with accredited and non-accredited qualifications we have a full suite of those to offer with they're delivered by a mixture of providers who we've procured and we also have Rachel within our team who delivers bespoke training. So Rachel's quite specialised within her area because she can, we have a set of qualifications she de, uh, training she delivers, yeah. but we can also, she can also put together tailored training to suit that particular business. Right, and so the training that Rachel offers then, that's either to um, the wider team within the business or to like your leadership and management yeah. team yeah. in order to get them ready for taking an apprentice. But Rachel can also support the apprentice themselves, can't she? Yes, yes. Yeah. It can be used utilised in both ways. Yeah. So there's no set ties with that. It can be however the business needs that support, yeah. which... I know that there's been really good uptake on that support that Rachel's been giving, particularly for apprentices, because I know that, um, especially for younger apprentices going into employment at the moment, they're, they're very new into employment. Yeah. They've, they've just come out of a pandemic, so they've not kind of developed those social skills. And I know that um, there's lots of recruitment issues out there at the minute and a lot of retention issues. Um, and I know that kind of making sure that someone's started an apprenticeship and is, is staying on that apprenticeship, having somebody there to just come in and kind of, handhold I suppose and just see someone through the process it's, it's really important yeah it's invaluable and not just now um but previous to doing this role I work within apprenticeships work within apprenticeship delivery with with another different provider and there was nine times out of ten there's always a dip with that apprentice on program normally around month three to five so they'll start on program and they're very keen like we are with something new something exciting and then it gets quite humdrum after a few months and you get that dip. Yeah. And that's where Rachel's absolutely fantastic because she can come in at that point and just give them that boost that they need yeah. to get them back on track, give them that, that motivation, that, you know, re-grab that engagement, if you like, yeah. and get, make sure that they see the programme right through to the bitter end. Oh, yeah, I do think that's really important. Um, and you'd mentioned that she can obviously deliver some bespoke support yeah. to like the leadership and management team. So I know she's delivered a little bit of sort of uh, communication skills and things like that to some leadership yeah. managers. Um, what about the credit support then that, that we've mentioned? So we've got like a set of providers that we can we can refer people into for some accredited support. Do you want to just mention a little bit more about what that covers? Okay, so we, we have got a full mix of, uh, amongst that suite. So we have mentor training, we have coaching, um, there's some health and safety training, there's risk assessment, digital skills, there's also functional skills which we're finding are being picked up quite a bit at the moment. So with quite a few of the apprenticeship programmes, they require the individual to have either achieved the functional skills in maths and English or to work towards them within maths and English. And it's sometimes beneficial for some individuals to actually complete that maths and English before they start the apprenticeship programme because it, it, it takes a bit of pressure off while they're on programme. So we're finding people are accessing that route 
prior to starting the apprenticeship. So they're all fully funded, so it's at no cost to the employer, and it means that it just it staggers the workload. Yeah. Talking about that fully funding, then we should probably mention that the whole project's fully funded, isn't it? it? Is, yes. So the support that you go out there and offer businesses. So you mentioned we've got this European social funding, um, and I know that it's match funded by North Yorkshire County Council um, and East Riding of Yorkshire Council. Yes, so you yeah. probably also mentioned the fact that yeah, we, um, <laughs> we, we come from Calderdale College, which throws people an awful lot, um, especially because you've got that mix of the word apprenticeship in yeah. there. So people think we're just in there delivering apprenticeships, but we're just managing that project. So Calderdale yeah, College yeah. is just there to manage it and send us out and make us do our jobs effectively yeah, at the end yeah. of the day which is great fun because we just get to help everybody yes well I think that's great as well I think because we've got that impartiality as well because you've got the full funding you know we aren't actually delivering in the area it is just about going out and seeing what people want and providing that support yeah. I know you mentioned people can have a, like a 15 minute conversation or they can be kind of handheld through the entire process definitely, definitely and there's no time limit on how long I'll spend with an employer so with some employers, like you've said, it can just be a 15, five, 10 minute conversation. That's it. Other employers um, I started working with several months ago. I'm still working with them now yeah. because they've said, you know, am I all right to come back to you? And that there may be, they may have put some of their staff onto some capacity build training and they may want to refer back to me again so the, the door's always open yeah. it's always open well, going back to the recruitment thing as well I know we, we we try to support as much as we can with the recruitment so I know we engage with lots of different businesses yeah. um, we, we go and speak in job centres quite a lot and we, we have little stands at job centres and we've got an apprenticeship fair next year hopefully all the employers we've worked with will come along to that and we can get you know make sure that we're, we're putting those apprentices and employers together and having those conversations yeah. you mentioned funding so do you want to talk a little bit about kind of the funding and the support that we can give to people in regards adds to that side of things because that, that's always a worry yeah, when anybody's yeah. doing anything it is it, that's always one of the first questions an employer asks me is what's it going to cost me yeah understandably they're running a business they need to know what what cost there's going to be there what investment they need to put in so for smes all apprenticeships are funded 95 percent by the government so there is for any apprentice over the age of 18 so anyone 19 plus any apprentice 19 plus there's an employer contribution of five percent that the government requires. However, there is also something called the levy transfer, yeah. which is gets very complex and very complicated and takes me forever to explain, but basically the levy, the apprenticeship levy, is a tax that large employers pay into. Yeah. Those large employers don't always utilise all of that money that they've put into that pot, so that can then be transferred across to small, medium employers. They can actually draw down on that so it's, it's a very simple application process but again that's something we do we take the employers through that show them how they can apply for it and then it's it's all done online so it's very straightforward so it's one of those things where you know from the outside it sounds really complex yeah. probably sounds like something that's going to be a bit of a challenge and a bit yeah. of a barrier and you know that hurdle that they don't want to overcome but we can go in and yeah. we can it literally with takes five minutes to put the application online yeah. five minutes and then it can save you that five percent so yeah. it's part of the support we offer yeah. and there are other grants and things like that as well that I know that there is you yes. and the rest of the team make sure you're aware of everything else that's kind of available in the region yeah, and, yeah. and all of the other support that we can offer and that you, you've helped guide people through that process haven't you yes yes so there is a government incentive for apprentices for employers to, to claim if they take on an apprentice 16 to 18 but in addition to that there are local incentives depending on where you live I, yeah. I must put that in it does depend which area you're living in as to what incentives you can draw down on yeah. but there is that option as well. well at least we've got, you know, the, the, they've yeah. got you and the rest of the team by the side being able to yeah. support. And I know that I, before coming on and starting to manage this project a year ago, I knew nothing about apprenticeships. And, you know, I've learned so much from just, you know, speaking to you guys over this past year. You're a very, very knowledgeable team of people. <laughs> um, just talking about that levy as well, you've mentioned the larger employees. I know that we're a program that's aimed at small to medium businesses. Yeah. But we can also support, if a larger employer wants to, offer some of their levy to a smaller employer we can we can yeah. support with that as well we can yeah and we we for always say we can only support small small medium employers we never if somebody comes to us even if they're a large employer we never shut that door yeah that's Ever. fantastic um is there anything else that you'd like to mention in regards to what it is that we do do you want to do you want to explain a typical meeting that you, you might have when you're out there with a business a typical meeting i mean i'm, I'm sure they're all <laughs> completely different but... they are they are all very different so it 
Typically, if one of somebody's contacted us, I'll do an initial meeting. I generally do that online, but if people don't like internet or doing other things online, I'm quite happy to jump in my car and come visit site. So that initial meeting is, is normally just to identify what those requirements are, what support that business needs. From there, I'll put a plan together. Yep. I'll identify what support they need, put a plan together, with target dates on, this is what I'm going to do and this is what I'm going to do it by. So that employer will get a copy of that so they know from day one what we're going to do right the way through. Yeah. And so that's what you're going to do then. So it's yeah. not going into a business and saying, you need to do this, no, this, this all, and this. And there's all of this process to follow. That's you going away and taking that away from there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. So I think... One of the most important things about the support we offer is that time in a business, especially with the smaller businesses, when they're wanting yeah. to try something new and start something new, they just don't have the time to go out they there and understand no. it all. So we can go in and we can say, you know, save your resources, we'll come along and we'll do all that for you. I generally say to the employer, my main role is to take away your admin. Yeah. And that is literally what we do. We take away all that back office legwork. Yeah. Which frees them to build that business, to grow that business and to hopefully take on that apprentice. Yeah. And in regards to um, pairing people up to providers as well then, so we've got a provider directory where we've we do, got, yeah. you know, we can invite any providers to come along. They can advertise their apprenticeships that are delivered in the area. But obviously you'll be having conversations day in, day out on behalf of businesses, won't you, with providers? So you're aware of what's available. We've got some really good links with a lot of the providers in the area now and the providers I've worked with have been absolutely fantastic. They generally know, both myself and the other advisors by name, that they know what we do, they know what we're about, and they're quite happy to support. Yeah, so, I think yeah. it's really good as well, because um, in speaking to businesses, it's and, and because apprenticeships can be so varied, it's not just a case of this is an apprenticeship standard and this is how it's delivered. All providers are different. So because you're yeah, having yeah. those regular conversations, you can find out you know what works best for the business which provider out there is going to be the yeah. more suitable for that. So, yeah. And at the end of the day, it's the, you know, it's the employer's choice, but we can at least help narrow that field down a little bit for them and take, yeah. like, and and take that admin away. It is, yeah. It's, it just takes away that legwork. Yeah. Right, that's wonderful. So um, I suppose plugging us, how can people get in touch with you? Okay, they can literally just go onto our website, which is apprenticeship-hub.co.uk. Um, they can have a look at our website, have a look at what we do, or you can also book in an advisor meeting direct from that website. And I know all of us, we're all over LinkedIn, so if anybody yep. wants to get in touch with it, most of the time <laughs> on LinkedIn, um, they can find us, the, the programme's on there, we're on there as individuals, yep. so if people want to find us and drop a message that way, then they can do. Yeah. Right, wonderful. Fantastic. Well, thank you for this chat. Thanks, Vicky. Okay.